What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, um, just like in previous weeks, I'm going to be going over my picks for week six of the 2019 NFL regular season. Um, starting off Thursday night, New York Giants versus the New England Patriots. I don't think it's a surprise that I'm going with the Patriots, especially in New England. Um, don't really have a whole lot to say there. The Giants just don't have nearly enough. Saquon's not playing. I mean... I'd love to see the Giants pull off an upset, but I highly doubt it. So, moving on. Carolina versus Tampa Bay. That's actually an interesting matchup without Cam Newton. Um, I think I'm going to go with Tampa, actually. I think without Cam Newton, I don't I don't think Kyle Allen is going to be quite enough. Um, Christian McCaffrey has pretty much been the Carolina Panthers' entire offense so far this year. And I think they're going to need a little bit more than that to beat Tampa Bay. Uh, I think they're starting to get in full swing a little bit, so I just it, it could be a really good game though. It could go either way, but I I, I think I'm going with Tampa. Uh, Seattle going into Cleveland. I'm going with Seattle. Uh, Cleveland's been kind of disappointing this year so far. Um, all those egos and stuff like that. I, I don't really know what the problem is. Part of me kind of wants to go look at the film of the Browns. I just haven't. To try to see what's going on with them, but because I, I don't want to say anything about them without actually doing any research, but uh, yeah, I think Seattle's got this. I think they're pretty hot right now. I think Russell Wilson is going to be enough even by himself to beat the Cleveland Browns, so it is what it is there. Um, moving on, we've got the Houston Texans going into Kansas City. That's actually an interesting matchup. Kansas City's been kind of struggling the last couple weeks. Um, Damn, that one could kind of go either way. I, I'm still going to go with Kansas City, though. Uh, I think this is a good game for Patrick Mahomes to prove that he is what he, what we think he is. Um, yeah. But this could easily go to the Texans, to be honest. Moving on. Redskins going into Miami. Now, this sucks as a Dolphins fan. I mean, this is probably the best chance we have to win a game. Um, coming off a of bye week, having extra time to prepare. The Redskins are a pretty bad team. They just fired their head coach. They don't even necessarily know who their quarterback is going to be. Um, but even still, I still think the Redskins are going to beat us. Unfortunately, the Dolphins just don't have enough. Around them to be able to win. So I'm going to go with the Redskins. Um, so yeah. Moving on. Redskins against the Vikings. I, I mean not the Redskins. The Eagles versus the Vikings rather. Um, I'm going to go with Philly. Minnesota's been really struggling. Especially on offense. I just think Philly's going to be a little bit too much for them. I think that Philadelphia Eagles defense is going to give Kirk a... Uh, I think he's going to give Kirk Cousins a bit of a problem. So, yeah. New Orleans going into Jacksonville. Even without Drew Brees, I'm going with New Orleans. I just think they have too much of a good team around them. And uh, I think Teddy is enough to beat Jacksonville Jaguars. So, I'm going with New Orleans. Cincinnati versus Baltimore. I'm going with Baltimore. Cincinnati is pretty trash. And I just think Baltimore is just going to have too much for him. Plain and simple. San Francisco going up against the Rams. I'm going with the Rams. Um, San Francisco is looking pretty hot right now. They're looking like they're improving. But I just think the Rams just have a little bit too much for them. Atlanta versus Arizona. I think I'm going to go with Atlanta. But I could see this going either way. Um, I, keep ex I keep waiting for Atlanta to kind of explode a little bit. Because they're one of those teams that is always a threat to do that. But I, I just think Arizona just doesn't have enough. I mean, this could go either way, to be honest. I think Arizona could potentially match up pretty well against Atlanta. But I still think the Falcons take this. Titans going into Denver. I'm going to go with the Titans. Um, I'm not really scared of the Broncos, like, at all. Uh, Joe Flacco, I think, is going to really tie them down a little bit. And... Uh, 
overall, I just think I think Tennessee has just got a way better overall team. So, yeah. Moving on, we got the Dallas Cowboys playing against the New York Jets. I'm definitely going with Dallas here. Um, I don't think it's any surprise to anybody that I'm going with Dallas. They are clearly the better team. Sam Darnold is supposed to be back this week, but I don't think it really matters. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think there's really anything they can do. Uh, Pittsburgh versus the Chargers. Um, I don't think Mason Rudolph is playing, so that's already going to be kind of rough. Looks like Devlin Hodges is probably going to be the starting quarterback. And I actually just did a Devlin Hodges film session right before recording this video. Um, I don't know when that'll get released. It might actually get released after this video. But, uh, yeah. Um, I, I don't think it's going to be enough. I think even before Mason Rudolph got hurt, even before Ben got hurt, I still think the Chargers are probably going to win this game. I just think they got too much for Pittsburgh. Overall, I, I just don't think the Steelers have enough to even really challenge the Chargers. So, yeah. Uh, Monday night, we got Detroit versus the Packers. Going with the Packers, 100%. Um, Packers are really hot right now. So is Detroit, but I'm not picking against Aaron Rodgers. I'm just not. Um, it could be a good game, though. It could be a fun game of offenses. So, definitely looking forward to that one. That one could be fun, but... Definitely going with the Packers. Um, but with, th with that, that's all the picks. And my throat's kind of on fire from recording two videos in a row. Those film sessions take quite a while. Uh, so, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up here. If you like this video, I would appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, hit that bell notification if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.